Hey, what's going on, BFL fan? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today I have some fragrances from Parfums Vintage. Keep it right there, and I'll tell you all about them. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, I really do appreciate it, and I hope that this video finds you all safe and healthy. I know I was gone for about eight or nine days. I just was kind of in a little bit of a rut with this quarantine thing, and uh, didn't feel very motivated to come behind the camera, so I took a week off, and uh, today I said, you know what? I gotta get out of this, and I gotta get behind this camera and put out some video for you BFL subscribers, and here I am. So the three that I'm going to talk about today are from Parfums Vintage. Most of you know the house. They do a lot of inspirations of Aventus, smokier batches, fruitier batches, all kinds of batches. They, uh, I think, have come out with the most in different ways. And that's kind of fun because there are people who like a fruity batch of Aventus. There are people who like a smoky, birchier batch of Aventus. So there's definitely something for everyone to choose from if this is your kind of thing. These two, Emperor Maximus and Emperor Maximus X-Ray came out in 2019. This one, Emperor Colossus, came out in 2020. There's also another one that came out in 2020 that I'm gonna be doing here for you. And it's an inspiration of one of my favorite Tom Ford fragrances. I'll Keep it as a surprise, but if you guys follow the brand, you probably already know which fragrance I'm talking about. It's one that I love and definitely in my top three of all time. Or top five, you know. Depends on the, the day, the week, the mood. All right, so these two are 159 for a 100 ml bottle. The extra here is 195. They also come in a 50 ml bottle and those go for 95 and 119. Let's spray some on, although I do have them on myself already. Let's see, let's go right here. This is Emperor Maximus. <laughs> oh, I think it was good I took a break. I'm not as bloopery today. I don't feel like I'm gonna be a little too tongue-tied and I'm not drinking. So yeah, this has um, a very natural and in the forefront of pineapple and citrus it's bright it's happy it smells really good it's not dark in any way and you get some little bit of woody notes and a little bit of musk but the pineapple stays real nice throughout a good portion of the wear on skin and it smells good it's not gonna smell good to you if you prefer a smoky batch or a darker batch that's this one here but when I get to that I'll tell you about that so yeah this is a nice bright and natural smelling Aventus inspiration this is the same as this but this is an extra concentration this one is an eau de parfum concentration I find that the extra which I do have here it smells the same it's actually this it is the same formula but it's in an extra de parfum concentration. I just said that, repeating myself. To me, from my skin, I think that the eau de parfum jumps a little better. This sits closer to the skin and it leaves a nice smooth scent trail, but it's not as diffusive on my skin as the eau de parfum. So of the two, my personal preference is the eau de parfum of Emperor Maximus. Emperor Colossus. This is a darker interpretation of Aventus. You get pineapple, but it's not quite in the forefront, on my skin anyway. There's pineapple, but it's a little pushed back to the back of the composition. It's spicy, it's woody. I think that it has like the DNA of Aventus, but it's different. It has a different interpretation, and it's, and it's not quite an Aventus 
clone or inspiration. It's very nice and I do like it. It has great diffusion from skin and it has a little more character than just the fruit and citrus bright thing going on. Listen, everybody has different tastes. We're all not going to love the same exact fragrance, but uh, there's different varieties for you to choose from. You know, there's a Facebook group and you can join and have discussions with people who appreciate this brand, who are big fans of this brand. There's quite a few thousand members in that group from what I saw. And uh, you can discuss and they'll guide you into which one would work best for your particular taste. I remember there was one uh, vanilla king, van vanilla king or something. That one I really liked and um, it had that nice little vanilla thing going on. There are definitely different options for you to choose from. And that's all I have for you today on these three from Parfums Vintage. Short and sweet like I always do. I love to offer a 10 ml can of these three to one lucky subscriber. I'm sorry guys, this one's gonna be US only. The mail, because of the whole pandemic is really off and uh, it's not very reliable. So I'm gonna be safe and have it just shipped to the US only. Sorry about that. There'll be plenty of other things down the line where it will be worldwide. So I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoy most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on the reviews, new content giveaways, and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Hopefully not in eight, nine days. <laughs>